Hi, this is Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers with the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how you can use PowerPoint to create a library file where you can store all kinds of images, logos, audio clips, text boxes, any content that you intend to use regularly. Now I'm sure we have all at one point thought to ourselves, oh, I used this image in this file recently. What was the file that I kept that in? So I started looking for that file and I spend an inordinate amount of time trying to locate it so that I can access some of those images that are in that given file. So instead of doing all of that work, it really makes much more sense to open and create, or to create and then open, a library file. As an example, you can see I have PowerPoint up and running here, and I'm going to just simply go ahead and open up my library file, just to give you an idea of the structure, and I'm going to use some of that content in my current new file. So it's a simple open. Once I have located my file, and opened it, you can see in this case I have created a simple file that has several slides. And the reason that I like to use PowerPoint for this is that I can create slides where I can decide this slide will contain this type of content and this slide will contain this type of content. So I can organize things in a very logical manner. So as you can see I have slide one. It has variations of the logo and common icons that are used. Slide 2 has the full logo with different versions of the text. Having some slides with background colors allows me to put images onto that slide that either have transparency or not and this will allow me to tell which ones which very very easily. I have images that I use for lots of other things. My next slide will be an audio clip slide. As you can see, I have simply added lots of audio clips. When I need to preview them, I can click any one of these, select it, and then simply tap the play button to listen to that clip. And I can keep doing that until I locate the one that I need. Now granted, I could go ahead and create text labels for each of these to help me find things in an even more simple manner. I can have text blocks that I'm going to reuse often. So it's just a text box. I've got my standard addresses. I've got it formatted. I have the straight address. I have one with the phone number. I have one with the URL. And I might have a whole slew of others. I may have different offices in different locations. So I can start to put text boxes with all of these different addresses or any other piece of text that I reuse on a regular basis. You can see then I have employee photo files. So I have a library, all kinds of different images of all of the different employees that we have in our organization. And anytime I need, I can open this library file and very quickly access any of this content. Now, one of the nicest things about office is utilizing the clipboard. I don't need to open every single image. I don't need to copy every image and move over into my other files. What I can do is open my library, come up to my home tab in the ribbon, and open the clipboard. Now I can select a slide that contains the images that I want. I can select the image and I can copy it. I can load that into my clipboard. I can then go to other slides, select images, copy those, and add them also very quickly to the clipboard. So I'm just adding a few random images. I may also come in here and grab an audio clip and add that to the clipboard grab a specific text box that I need. If you're wondering, I'm using my Control-C keyboard shortcut to keep loading all of these things in. 
the clipboard can store up to 24 different items. So I can really pack this with all kinds of useful images and tools that I need. So now I could say, well, I need a picture of myself, so I'll copy that also to the clipboard. And now I can go ahead and switch to my other PowerPoint file. Here it is. And come back up to my home tab. I'm going to locate my clipboard and I have access to all of that content. So now I can go ahead and say, well, I want to add a picture. I can take this text box that I don't require and get rid of it. And maybe I'm going to add in the text box that has my boilerplate text, my address. And then I want to put in the logo also. Now, maybe I need to put what this presentation is about. So this is an Office 365 presentation. So I'll put that there. I can scale this image up. And in this presentation, I'm going to be talking about Teams, Excel, and OneNote, how all of these applications interact with each other. So I am able to very quickly access all of the resources that I need, load them out of the library file into the clipboard by simply copying them, and then coming to my new file and pasting them in as I need. Maybe I even want to open something up in another application within the Office Suite. So let's say that I will open a Word file. So here I am in Word. I'm going to come to my Home tab. I can still access and see my clipboard group right there. Using the Dialog Launcher, I have access to any resources that I have loaded into the clipboard. After I'm done, I can clear the clipboard. I can jump back into my PowerPoint library file and I can continue to choose other images from my library, other audio clips, other text boxes, any of this content that I want to use over and over again, instead of trying to remember where in the world I used this last, which drive it's on, where this may be, I'm going to put together into this library file and that way whenever I need it, everything is close at hand. So I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. This is a really good little tip to help you with your productivity. If you are interested in learning more and other tips, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out videos on a regular basis. We also provide classes in in-person and online training. You can find out much more information from our website, tcworkshop.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. So until next time, take care for now.